right, so um, I'd now like to open it up to observers if you want to comment on some of the mathematics that you saw or some aspects of the lesson that you found interesting. Um, what I um, noticed that I really liked um, about the process was that when you put the problems up on the board, the different solutions, and they weren't quite accurate, and the kids um, could look at them, and they started thinking about them, and they could they could see where the person who did that um, problem got their answer or could have misunderstood um, what it was asking, and they could you know walk through or talk through it and say, oh well okay well that's how they got there um, the one with the the cream one cream two chocolate for example mm -hmm. you know the one you show where there was nine creams and the 18 chocolates and um, I think it was the boys in the back right corner were you know th saying oh yeah they they misunderstood the problem they were thinking nine you know they were taking the nine and they were thinking they had to you know times that by the one and by the two and that's how they came up with it but they were not realizing or they didn't catch the in all so that what they needed to see was there were nine cups in all and then they had to go and figure out from there so I really like that they could um, take those problems that uh, you or answers that you pose to them and they could kind of they could see where um, another student could have misinterpreted the problem or where they went wrong or when maybe not wrong but off the wrong track and I like the process of re-engagement because it gives them a chance just like we were able to have a chance to be exposed to the methods and the problems and kind of have a rough idea of what to expect like today so to give them a chance to work it out without any prior knowledge of all the different methods of solving a problem, let them work it out how they want to work it out, and then being exposed to how other people work it out, and then also to have the chance to work it out again, to see how other people got their reasoning. And then that further increases their understanding and increases their logic, and that communication, I think, is very important because, especially in math, I don't think they're, we're encouraging our students often enough to communicate with our words, or written or verbally about how we solve problems and I think that just helps pull in those struggling students and helps encourage those strong, stronger students. And what one student may be struggling with, he may be strong in maybe drawing something or working it out with manipulatives and to give them that opportunity I think just further encourages them in terms of furthering their mathematical understanding. And then um, also furthers the teacher's understanding of what does this student need and how does this student learn and how can I further support them? Because if we're just expected to have the students work it out with the algorithm, I think we're losing a lot of students. And, and I think we're cheating them. So I think that this process is amazing. And I think that having them go back and correct their work is just a great thing for them with the correcting pens and even encourage them, okay, see how many ways you can figure out how to get the correct answer or see how many ways you can figure out how they got the wrong answer. And it just furthers their understanding. I think that's great. I think this method is, um, is great for teachers because <coughs> when, when a child comes up with something completely new that I haven't even, you know, I didn't even think about and I, I noticed, you know, um, Hillary was clicking too, like, oh, okay, oh yeah, and and I think that usually at that clicking moments for me, I have a child come up and teach, mm -hmm. so they're you know, so they're teaching the class a, a new method and reaching to kids that I don't reach to, so I find that often in this class, yeah. Mm -hmm. 